Hello everyone. In this session, we will understand the four types of uh, data analytics that are there. What are the four types of data analytics and how one differs from the other is what we are going to see in this session. So, there are four types of data analytics. One is the descriptive analytics. Then you have diagnostic analytics. Next is prescriptive analytics and finally predictive analytics okay so let's see what these four types of analytics are descriptive analytics is what happened let's take the example of a sales scenario sales in an organization what is the sales number for different types of products for different regions for different quarters right that is an example of descriptive analytics right it merely tells what is the sales of different types of products in different regions different countries different quarters different months different weeks right when you come to diagnostic analytics we are trying to understand why something happened for example let's say that sales of a particular product was higher in northern region compared to southern region why it happened which uh, product line contributed to the uh, difference which month contributed to the difference was there any outliers were there any special causes all these things are analyzed using diagnostic analytics right prescriptive analytics right what is the solution if let's say you have achieved a uh, hundred million dollar or hundred crores of sales, you want to increase it by fifteen percent. From hundred, you want to increase it to fifteen percent. How will you do it? Which region will contribute? Which product line will contribute to the increase easily? What are the kind of discounts you have to offer in your products? All the kinds of permutations and combinate combinations that you will do will form part of prescriptive analytics what is really the solution to the problem how can this problem be solved how can you increase your sales by 15 percent what are the opportunities what are the areas for improvement those things are addressed in prescriptive analytics right the last one is predictive analytics predictive analytics is what will happen in future yes my goal is to increase sales by 15 percent but what realistically will happen what will be the base effect if i don't do anything right if i continue to do what i have been doing in previous years what will happen right see on top of that on top of the base effect you run campaigns you take special initiatives to achieve your goals right so you are trying to predict right so predictive analytics is the fourth one here what will happen yes you are taking a lot of actions what will happen that's what you analyze in predictive analytics right for example uh, let's take the example of sales of a, an organization what could have happened in the last financial year will form part of descriptive analytics last financial year fy21 sales data right different regions different product lines right different states so on and so forth it can also be about comparison with the past how was fy 2020 and how is fy 2021 right so on and so forth that is what happened maybe you also had a target how did you do against the target right that is descriptive analysis. why it happened for example you missed the target right there is a miss target miss now what is driving the target miss is it north northern regions or is it southern regions or is it east or is it west northwest 
which product line is pulling it down is it because you ran too much discount right is it because the target is too steep are you getting it so these are the aspects that i analyze in diagnostics okay prescriptive analytics so this is based on diagnostics in fact one leads to the other right what is the solution what is the solution where should the organization focus right are you getting it where should the organization focus where is the problem area that is what you are suggesting in prescriptive analytics predictive anal analytics is yeah you have analyzed everything you have come thus far now you are setting a target for 2022 or let's say 2023 will you achieve the target or will you not achieve the target what are all the challenges right how much my customer base will grow whether top customers will continue to you know provide more sales you know to the organization all these questions are answered in predict okay predictive is you know there is an element of future right which means probability right or chance will it happen will it not happen are you getting it so these are the four types of analytics that an individual or an organization can use you can use excel you can use power bi you can use tableau you know any kind of tool you can use but essentially you are doing these four types of analytics i hope you all understand you know the four types of analytics that are there